Good morning. Lately, I've noticed that on Facebook, a number of people seem to be raising butterflies. Maybe people have always done this, but Facebook makes it more public. I heard of a greeting card that read, what the caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. I've never thought about what a caterpillar thinks when it makes a cocoon. Of course, it's likely instinctual and it doesn't think anything in the ways that we do. But it might seem like the end of something and certainly a mystery. We have all had experiences where we cannot see the other side, whether it was a job loss with no prospects or a divorce or an unexpected illness. But we trust that we will emerge from what might feel like a dark cocoon with a stronger, more beautiful, authentic life. During this time when we've been asked to cocoon, it has been challenging for many, especially extroverts. I think it's challenging for all of us because like the caterpillar, we must surrender. We do not have control over the process. So how do we make the best of this cocoon time? Rather than bemoaning it, can it be a fertile time where we allow creative juices to flow so that when it is time to break forth, we emerge with beauty and grace? May God bless our cocoon time. Amen.